In this session, we're going to take a look at how to restrict content for different levels of membership. The first way we're going to look at is through categories. I currently have two categories, members and uncategorized. There's nothing special about these categories as far as Paid Memberships Pro goes. I didn't do anything to them at all. In fact, you can't do anything to them to make them special. That happens on this page. I'm under Memberships, Memberships Levels. And you can see here my memberships. I'm going to edit the free level. And at the bottom, you'll see that I can choose a category to make automatically available to the free level. And that's uncategorized. If I go back and edit my $10 a month level, you can see that I have them both available. So now, if I edit a post, you'll see that I've selected both categories for this post. And down here, there's another box. We'll talk a little bit more about it in a few minutes, but you can see right here it says, this post is already protected for this level because it is within a category that requires membership. So even though I have this check here, it doesn't really matter because what's more important is that it is within a category that is allowed. If I uncheck both of those and update, uncategorized rechecks itself because WordPress does not allow a post to have no categories at all. So I'm going to go back to my membership levels and I'm not going to use categories at all for them and we'll look at another way. There. Now my levels are not using categories at all. Now if I update my post I can come down to this box and it doesn't say anything at all about this box being already protected because of its category. But here I can individually set permissions for this post. I can say that it is available only to the $10 a month crowd. And it has nothing to do with the posts. Now what's interesting about this require membership box is that it is also available on pages. So for pages, this is the only way to deny access to the entire page. So to review so far, if you want to set permissions for large blocks of posts, you can use categories and assign a category to a membership level. And then that entire category works for that membership level. More fine-grained, you can edit individual posts and pages using the require membership box. There's one more option that I'm going to show you right now. We'll create a page. I'm going to use the default template. And now we have a page with some content that I'm going to put in here. There, and this page should be available to everyone in the whole wide world. Let's view it. Works great. Now, we're going to look at some short codes. This is in the documentation at Paid Memberships Pro, and here is a list of short codes. This one will show up for all members. And interestingly, my own username is not a member. I made Alice and Bob in an earlier video, but I am neither of them, and so I don't see that content. And yet, I do see the free content. So right within a page, you can decide which bits of information get shown. Here's one that says you can set a specific membership level. 
you can show several levels. Using minus one, you can exclude a level. And if you set membership level zero, it will show up for non-members. Let's try that one since my user is a non-member. So then I come over and I can see will show up for non-members. So there are three different ways to restrict content with Paid Memberships Pro. One is by large groups of content using categories. Next is the required membership box which allows you to get fine-grained on a per-page and per-post basis. And then lastly is a very fine-grained method using short codes. So within a page or post or widget or anything else really that handles short codes, you can hide or reveal content to certain membership levels.